again. We're going to do a little presentation on the pulser. And what the pulser is, it's a unit that takes 110 volts, rectifies it, peak to peak, gives you about um, 160 to 63 volts when it's rectified. These flies out of my uh, AC line. And it has a MOS, triggerable MOSFET that you can run with a standard TTL um, signal or you can also use the output of selected MP3 players that can deliver about one and a half to uh, three volts on a peak uh, signal and with that I can trigger this unit and I have four 10 second frequency um, files on here that will demonstrate uh, later. So to give you a start or to get started, I'm going to plug the unit in and it is turned off. I have an on off switch here. I'm going to, oh, it's already plugged in. Unfortunately, it's a green display with not very black letters, and I don't think it shows up very well, the, the lettering. It's a two-line display, 16 character, uh, in this function generator. Um, it reads uh, from 0 0.01 hertz, and goes up to 5 megahertz, gives me triangle sign and square wave output, and then it also has a dedicated TTL output, gives me data cycles from uh, 1 to 99 percent of the frequency that I'm working with has an amplitude control for the main output and so forth. Um, we're going to be using this to to demonstrate uh, the pulser along with uh, the MP3 files. Uses a mono plug, so it's just a TTL signal going into the pulser. Excuse me. So here we go. We're going to plug in this nightlight to use as an example um, test piece. Plugs into the AC um, plug right there, our jack. Got to plug in the, and it's flashing already. Now, <laughs> what you're going to find amazing is it's turned off. There's a capacitor in here, a 600 uh, microfarad capacitor, rated, I believe, at around uh, 200 volts. And since my peak's only 160, it should uh, last a long time or a decent amount of time. And we're bleeding the charge off that capacitor right now, and that's why this filament was flashing when I first plugged it in. I'm not, I am sending a signal to this unit, but I have this unit physically turned off. And I have my kilowatt meter that's saying there's no power going through it right now. So, and I just depleted the uh, the cap. So I'm going to turn this on, and immediately you see it flashing. And what it do, what is doing? It's flashing at 7.83 hertz, which is the Shulman resonant frequency. And I'm just there's several different display modes and I'm getting it set so I can change the uh, duty cycle as well and the duty cycle right now is uh, four percent so if I turn this down it gets real dim you can see it barely flickering it's at one percent of the 7.83 Hertz and I can turn it up to two percent three percent four percent five percent and as I do that you can see that um, the 160 volt TTL pulse going to this obviously brightens it up but the frequency is still at 7.83 I'm going to just make a quick change and uh, bring it up from 7 to 17 and you can see it smooths out right away the light smooths out just brought it up to 27 37 47 I can't see a flicker anymore 57 almost 60 cycles and the filament is just glowing nice uh, and solid it's set at a duty cycle right now 10% I can drop it all the way back down 
you switch, press a button, but, and it's, now it's a solid dim glow, and it gets brighter as I turn it up. And that's 1%, very, very dim, 2%, 3%, 4%. So that's the basics of operation. The applications are quite uh, endless. Um, I can do one more thing. I can turn the unit off. And it's bleeding the cap. Even though there's no power, um, it's discharging the cap. And we can connect the scope so we can actually see this, the pulses. So I'm going to plug this uh, kludge plug in and connect up with Galligator clips. Put the scope on. Connect it to ground. Connect the other end to the hot lead. Scope is turned on. Black to what is normally considered common for this. And it's not pulsing. So that means the capacitor is discharged or I have it turned off. Nope, it's on. So let's turn it on. And there you go. You can see, I can see it on the back screen there. Um, 57, that both, that, that's 57 hertz, and it's 9%, and I can widen the pulse by changing the duty cycle, or narrow it down, and I'm going to go all the way down to 1%. So now it is at 1%, and you can barely see the light, but it is glowing. It is glowing. Um, I turn it on and off. You can see the filament glowing. And it's oscillating. Turning it up. And with the press of a button, I can change the frequency. And I'm stepping up the frequency right now. It's uh, pulsing at 107. And now it's down to 27. And now it's down to 17, and that is seven, back to Shulman's at 7.83. And if I turn down the at 15% duty cycle, and I'm turning the duty cycle down, and you can see that pulse over here on the upper, upper left-hand part of the screen getting very narrow. And then you see as I turn it up. So that's the pulser. Now let's uh, move on to video two and we'll demonstrate some applications.